Hello, everybody. It's Tennessee Tammy McBain. Uh, Paul's washing his hands. He'll be back. I guess you, well, you can see his plate. But um, we're glad to be back. We have missed you guys so, so much. And as you can tell, I'm wearing auction. I'm going to eat a little bit, and I will explain why I'm wearing auction. I wear it when I sleep, and I wear it when, I'm, when I need to. So... Right now, hey <laughs> here's Paul, everybody. But what are we having in East Tennessee? We have spaghetti um, with hamburger meat. I cut up some garlic, uh, bell peppers, and onions. And <laughs> we had spaghetti sauce in a jar. Don't know where they're at. Don't know. Like I said, I'll explain it to you more after we eat a little bit. This month has been a doozy. But uh, Paul will pray, and I'm ready to dig in. Dear Lord, we thank you so much for this food. Thank you for all that you've done for us. Thank you for this time together with friends. We ask you, Lord, to help us to do your will and to show others the pathway to you and your righteousness. In all things, Jesus, I pray. Amen. Grab you something good to eat. Grab your chair, scoot up, eat breakfast, lunch, brunch, supper with us, Love snack, it. whatever. Um, thank you guys for watching the videos and eating supper with us while we've been gone. It's not by choice. I promise you that. It wasn't by choice. No, it wasn't. But I'm going to eat a little bit, and then I will explain the situation. The twins are doing good. Growing like crazy. Which set? The rabbits. Okay. Oh, and animals. they are called line, line what? Line head rabbits. Here. <clears throat> I'm drinking water. So am I. Hang on, Bootsy. She had red bell pepper and yellow bell pepper she cut up. And orange. And an orange one. We had quite a variety of colors that came out in this meal. One of our viewers asked us to make something like this, so we thought we would show it and do it for them. It's not uh, uh, garlic bread, but this is, what is this? Yes. This is garlic, garlic. Uh, breadsticks. Yeah, breadsticks. Good out. Oh, it's good. Yeah, it is. When I was fixing the bread, she said, please, for the love of God, do not get it so hard that I can't chew it. <laughs> Stop. Pepsi, so get down. I baked it for a little while, and it took her a little bit longer to fix the meat and stuff. I had set it out two days ago, and it still froze solid in the middle. So we had to let it thaw out to where she could fix it. So got the bread out of the oven. We have missed you guys so much and it wasn't completely done so i put it back in the oven after she got the uh, meat fixed for the spaghetti and got all the noodles and everything done and heated it back up a little bit there's only one thing about spaghetti i don't like tammy doesn't agree with me about this you see the noodles myself i do not like long noodles with my spaghetti well i don't like them where you have to dig for 50 years trying to get them on a fork. Oh. But anyway. That's about the biggest thing about spaghetti I don't like. I'm going to talk to you and tell you. One night, I was taking a bath, and all of a sudden it hit me just like this. I can't with these nails, you know. <laughs> but anyways, it hit me. And... Uh, 
I got deathly sick. I mean, I'm talking deathly sick. It was July 15th. I've double checked this calendar tonight. For some reason, Paul came in there and he said, are you okay? I was holding my head like this. I said, no, I'm not. He said, what's wrong? I said, I don't know. I felt really funny. I felt crazy. I felt out of my head. I was so sick. Oh, my God. I was so nauseous. So I finished taking my bath. And I come in here and I took my medicine. Because that's what I usually do before I lay down. I guess I had it down, what, five minutes? Maybe. I threw everything up. All my medicine, everything I ate. Everything I drank, I was dry heaving. I was having panic attacks back to back to back. I was, that's what was going on in the bathtub. We sit down. What happened is I got COVID. And if anything's wrong with you, it's going to attack whatever it is. It. it it attacked my lungs. It triggered my asthma attack. I couldn't get a good breath in. So I called people. I text people. I even I told them I said I will pay your gas money. I just need to go to the ER. Nobody would take me. Paul been hurting in his back for what two days? <clears throat> Three. I Lower thought part. It, I thought it was kidney stones. So, I told Paul, to go ahead and call the ambulance. I've got to go get checked out. Something ain't right. This is so good. This is the first real home-cooked meal we have had in, what, a month? Since we got sick. Except what people brought us. Yeah. And bottles and stuff. Or that we... We're at her sister-in-law's house and she fixes something, maybe. So, I told Paul to take care of the animals. So he did. I said, let's go out here. But I figured if I could go outside, I might could breathe a little better. So we went outside on the swing. And then here they come. Here come the ambulance people. And I said, stop. And, uh. They come and they talk to us. Hello, by the way. And uh, they asked us questions. They said, uh, sounds like COVID. They ain't nothing they can do for you at the hospital. And I was thinking, what? And the other guys said, uh, we can take you, but how are you going to get back? I said, don't worry about that. I'll get home. So he said, okay. So got got in the ambulance, laid on the stretcher, what we call the stupid thing, <clears throat> and uh, he started checking me out, checking my bottles. My blood pressure was 260 over 117, I think that's what he said. My heart rate was 240. So <clears throat> started asking me a bunch of questions then. I said, well, I can't keep my medication down. So I guess that's why my blood pressure's up. The reason my heart rate was up was because I was having panic attacks. You can't tell people on that. So he got his stethoscope and he checked my lungs and he said, well, you're crackling. I said, that's my asthma. I can't breathe good. So he gave me a breathing treatment. But before he done that, he checked my my blood pressure stuff. My blood pressure cup blew off. <laughs> he gave me what's it? Uh, what is it? Medicine? Nebulizer. Butamol. Abuterol. Abuterol. Well, the hose blew out. It blew out. So they had to fix that. So I, they they sat out here and worked on me for thirty minutes. So um. I took the treatment. They was asking us questions, joking around like I think that's trying to, you know, calm, calm my heart rate down and stuff.
There ain't nothing calm me down that night. I was rare right for him. So I took the breathing treatment and I got a good I got a good breath and I said that's helping a lot. And he said that's good. He tried to do a IV. Everything happens for a reason. Oh, it didn't work. And I thank God it did. Because it's steroids. The time I got to the hospital, I was ready to jump out a window. <laughs> well, it made my anxiety ten times worse. So we get to the hospital. And the rescue rescue squad men, they helped me on to the to the bed and then uh she's telling the nurse stuff and she was typing it in and they went somewhere. So I don't know where they went. The next thing I know, there's a nurse, there's a I guess a CNA and the doctor standing in the door. They took blood. My God, I don't have got any. I know about ten vials. Well, they took that out, took that to the lab. And then I look up, next thing I know, the nurse does this to the medicine to put in the IV, because they started IVs. I felt like I was in emergency on that show. Was it 70 or 80s? <clears throat> Late 70s. I was tell I've, I've told everybody, I said, I didn't know what they was doing to me. They hooked me up to machines, I'd done three EKGs. They wasn't telling me nothing. The doctor just standing there looking at me. So after they got done with all that stuff, they started asking me questions. I told him I can't keep my medicine down. I'm throwing up. I don't know what's going on. My anxiety's bad. But the bad part was they took Paul to another room, took me to a room. They wouldn't let us be together. They wouldn't let us go to each other's room, which that wasn't good. So the doctor talked to me and he said, we're going to do a COVID test, strep test, and a mono test so they done that and i said how long would that be he said about an hour way in between that they took me and i had three x-rays on my lungs make sure i didn't have pneumonia <clears throat> yes So I came back to my room and I look up. No, I look up and I saw this CNA. She put a gown on and this mask on, and I thought, oh crap. And then they shut my door. I said, I have COVID, Donna. She said, yes, you do. I said, great. So. The nurse said, I'll ask the doctor if I can give you something to calm you down. I was like, thank God. So she gave me that. Got shot to calm me down. But she put it in my IV. Then she came in with two blood pressure pills. So I had to work on getting it down. And then after, I don't know, two hours, the doctor come in and he said, yep, you got COVID. We've got medication now that we can put you on to make the symptoms and the stuff a little easier. Would you like, like to take it? I said, yeah. It did help. <clears throat> but when you run out, oh my God. It wasn't good. Lost her taste. I lost my taste. Lost my smell. Couldn't eat for three weeks. <clears throat> I 
best thing to do if you get COVID is drink lemon water. Drink, drink, drink. I had to force myself to eat a popsicle and stuff like that. As far as eating, uh, it tastes like poop. So, COVID has messed up my lungs. That's why I'm wearing oxygen. And the medication, when you take it, it can make you get it again. And guess who got it again? You're looking at her. I thought, my God in heaven. <clears throat> Been a time, I tell you. What was really strange was uh, we talked to a doctor about COVID about the particular strand that we had and they told her that she was in stage two or three of this particular strand. Stage three is your dad. Yeah. So I'm like what? Come to find out they didn't, the doctor had told me that for her, didn't know what they were talking about. Because if you was in stage two, you were in lockdown in a hospital with oxygen <clears throat> and in a sealed room. She was not in the sealed room. She was here at home. And I'm thankful to the Lord that she did get over it. She still has side effects, yes. And I still have side effects. I still don't have a sense of smell. And I see if the taste is as good as what it was. I can still taste things, but <clears throat> it's not too good. I'm going to be blunt with you. I see if the smell is so bad, I could have a skunk spray right beside me and I couldn't smell it. And I'm not lying. That's the truth. But there's a reason for everything. I'm thankful to the Lord that, that we were both getting through it and came through it well. We've both been retested and we're both negative. So. Shoot, I don't think we're going to make it. Where she thought that I had kidney stones, I mentioned that to the doctor when they did my triage. And they did a scan on me, did a MRI, CT, and did x-rays of my back. You didn't see any kidney stones, thank the Lord. Come to find out that was just a side effect of the COVID. You hurt so bad that you feel like the bones is going to shatter. I have never in my life felt pain like that. <clears throat> and the worst headache, oh my God. And I'm still having that myself. Every day I wake up, my head is busting. If I lean over, or if I bend over, and I raise back up, I feel like my brain's coming out my temples. Thankfully, I've got medications I can take to help the pain. Is that thing on? What thing on? So follow the freaking video. It's still counting. I can't see it. We got a different phone that we're videoing with and we're still getting used to it. <laughs> and the, the timer on the old phone that we used was on the bottom right hand corner. The timer on this one is on the middle of the left hand side. So thankfully I can see it. <laughs> There's a lot of fun stuff about this phone that we don't like compared to the old one. It got to where it wasn't working though. We had to do something different.
been quite a an ordeal with us. I'll tell you one thing, it shows you who your friends are, uh -huh. who your family is. We've had some family members that have been zero family, I'll put it that way. We've had some that have been right there beside us. They've been beside us, they've got COVID. Well, maybe not physically, but emotionally and stuff. And the reason I said that some of the family members haven't been family, it's one of those, I'd love to help you, but they always have the but in there. They don't ever help. No matter what, we're, whether we're sick or not, they always have a but. To me, that shows what a big but we are. <laughs> I don't care if I'm a thousand pounds. I thank God every day I can taste the meat. See the. Well, maybe there. I do. Maybe I do care. Not being that much, but I appreciate that I can taste. I can taste this, <clears throat> but it's not nearly as vivid as what it was, say, a month ago or six weeks. But I cannot smell it. And I have such a head congestion. I believe that's one of the reasons why I have such a headache so much. I think that's a sinus infection. Yeah. Here, bud. There you go, baby. I'm scheduled to go to the doctor today. Whether I'll get to be able to go there or not, I don't know. This is good. It was all set up. Hopefully I'll get to go. Well, you quit. When I do, I'll be talking to the doctor and I'm going to be giving her earful. <laughs> Excuse me. Cat's trying to jerk the auction off of me. Uh-uh. When Oops. we have the rabbits out running around and playing, we have to put up all of the extension cords all of the charging cords, and we have to hang the oxygen hose up quite a bit off the floor because they have a good hop. Oh, they can jump. Oh, yeah. Spice can jump about three foot and more jump without taking a run, though. And when they are mad, they stomp their foot. <laughs> Well, babe, where's your bite to me? But uh, thanks to the rabbits, I've lost two charging cords for my phone. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Didn't even realize that the rabbit was chewing through it until I picked it up and it was in high. How they didn't get shocked, I never know. <clears throat> I was told there's two girls, but I think one's a boy. He sure has the actions of a male. I'm full. So. Yeah. I'm pretty close to it myself. Eat the rest later. But if I hadn't went to the hospital that night, I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you. It was bad. And that was actually something confirmed by the doctor. That, that. I mean, I almost died with COVID, so. You know, some people think it ain't real. Let me tell you something. I'm here to tell you it's real. But if you get COVID, drink lemon water. She's had... Three aunts and uncles that have died from COVID? No, I had two cousins. Two cousins, okay. I thought they were eight and uncles. No, I had enough to die. Had to cut my hair. My hair was breaking off. My 
niece was massaging my scalp and she said, your hair is broke off. I said, yeah, I've had COVID. So now it's all same way. We both had our hair cut done today. I don't know what that junk does, but man, your hair goes through it. Not why I'm eating you. <laughs> She, she did the overall of her hair, and I helped her finish everything up. And then she cut my hair for me, and I appreciate that so much. My hair was so thick. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Lisa, baby. Let me, ta let me tell you what Boots done to me yesterday. Oh my, <laughs> my niece got her rabbit. That's the cutest little thing you've ever seen. I forgot the name of it. Sorry. But um, dwarf rabbit, that's what it was. Anyways, my sister called me. She said, can I, can I borrow some Timothy hay and some food, rabbit food? I said, yeah. She said, do you have a cage? I said, no, I don't have an extra cage right now. I said, come on over and get you some. She said, I'll pay you back Friday. I said, just come on over and get you some. Well, they come in. And my niece let me hold the rabbit while Boots went plumb nuts. He was so jealous. He didn't want my niece sat inside of me. He didn't want me holding the rabbit. He was having himself a little, little fit. So my sister said, get your clothes on. Because I had my night clothes. I wasn't sitting down naked. But uh, she said, put your clothes on. We'll go to the house. I said, well. So we went there and stayed a little while. And then she brought us back. And boots peed on my foot and on my house shoes because he was <coughs> mad at me sitting beside of my niece and and uh, holding the rabbit. Hey, Pepsi, come here. <coughs> sit down. We got to sit down. Well, we know it's not the same without mask. Pepsi's kind of taking his spot. Sit down, Pepsi, honey. We both found ourselves hollering for mask when he wasn't here. Because there's things that, that Pepsi has been doing or has done that was identical to the way that mask would do something. You talk about missing something. Oh, my God. And I, we think Pepsi is grieving really bad. Yeah, he's, he's losing he's weight. Way, yeah. <clears throat> but he, him and mask, they would stay together about all the time, wouldn't they? Yes. Yeah. Oh, hell, buddy. <laughs> I don't know what I was talking about. I was talking about anything. Nope. As you know, COVID affects your memory. I wish you'd sit down, boy. Sit down. Uh, to the new subscribers, welcome. Welcome to the family. Thank you for subscribing. Thank, thank our subscribers for being faithful and texting and asking me. What's going on? Are you okay? We had a bunch of those. When I had COVID, it took me a day or two to get back to you. So I'm telling you, I couldn't move. I could not move. Terrible. You take so much energy out of it, you can't do much more than just lay around. You're so weak. I, I've never seen nothing. I've never had nothing like that. I've had pneumonia, the flu, a cold, viruses. He never know. I mean, your mother almost killed me, but it didn't make me feel like that. It's definitely been something else. Yeah, we're still weak. <clears throat> well, it took us so long to get the video up. Sorry, apologize to you guys for taking so long, but we uh, had planned on doing the video four hours earlier than what we had done it, but it took longer for the meat to thaw out and get cooked. Locks and drop. Yeah, and, and her O2 went down and everything. So. But it's okay. I survived. Yeah, she's a survivor. Well, we appreciate you for watching. Thank you guys so much. Guys, I will see you next time.
face face to face if you don't. He's too busy licking himself. <laughs> Oh but we'll see you tomorrow. We're back. We're a little slow. We're still late. But hey, we're here. There's my nails, you guys. I painted them myself. And they're extra long. So, but we'll see you tomorrow. Lord's will and nothing happens. Be good to each other. Pray for protection for, for your family and your other family members. Because I say it once, I say it twice. You never know what goes on behind closed doors. We love you. We love you very much. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.